So that's your yellow. So I'm just going to take this, I'm going to do the yellow first, and I'm going to brush on. Now, where you don't put any of this chemical, you won't get any color. So you have to make sure that you get it over the entire piece, unless you want some areas that are white. Notice he, he started using a brush. I told him that a long time ago, brush was better application than spraying. But for the longest time, he was uh, rather insistent on spraying was. with the pre-valve sprayers because it gave you such a subtle mist. Use a brush, a cheap brush. And then you won't be sucking up as much of the That's fumes right. and the solution when you're doing this. What I want to make sure is I get this really covered pretty well. I do want to make sure I get the inside of the top here because if I don't get any in there, it'll just be a stark white contrast against the color that's going to be on the outside of the pot. And I'll usually put two layers. This pot, you can see how the chemical's kind of beating up and it has been terracigged. So now I'm going to come back with the cobalt sulfate. And I like mine to be a little bit bluer, so I'm going to make sure I get more of the cobalt on than I did of the potassium dichromate. And it just depends on the saturation level, again, you get on how blue it's going to be or how green. or yeah. just depends, and you'll have to play with the amount of layers you're going to put on to get the exact color although it will be in this one you're not going to get quite as much control it's going to be different each time depending upon how you fire it and how thick these applications are so hopefully it's always a surprise think that's good i think you had all i think enough. we got it